think we've been spoiled this season of Wheel of Mo. We've been very spoiled because we've had really nothing but success. Lots of wins, haven't been booted out of the playoffs, and I just went three and four. Got clapped, kicked out, and I'm back to a zero and zero season. We had a beautiful 96 overall Matthew Judon who got yeeted, and Kevin Green is now back in. Sad. We also had a Bytonia who uh, really wasn't that impactful, so I'm not too mad about that, but at least we have a fresh, clean slate, and we can start brand new and not worry about anything. I'm not wasting any time today, boys. Redemption tours always get me really amped up. I'm just antsy to go in and get a win right now. And that's what I want to do. We're going to get most spear team wheel, which is actually, is that how we got Jair Alexander? I think this is how we got Jair Alexander. So I'm hoping we can continue the luck in the same strand. We're going to get the Giants. I wish it was Thanksgiving. I could have got Jabril Peppers. But let's see what they got. There's a Logan. Oh, there's a Lawrence Taylor. Oh, my God. Okay. We got another linebacker. He's 89 speed. Holy shit. Lawrence Taylor. The only thing is without his power up, I don't think I can move him to left outside. So he'll stay at right outside and Fred Warner will go to left outside. But this is huge. What a pick up. I didn't even know that card existed. Honestly, our second wheel spin is going right now. I'm going to get him slotted in the lineup. I am pumped about that. Our next wheel spin is going to land on a team wheel. Now, if I lose this one, I'll be so sad, dude. Especially after resetting the season. I need to get a win. Our second time on the team wheel. We have the Giants first. Let's get a gnarly team here. The Saints. New Orleans Saints. There's a Jonathan Vilma, 95 overall. There is a 94 Camara, but I'm, I'm riding the James Robinson train, dude. Urban Meyer would want me to. There's not too much that I really want, if I can be totally honest, but there is a Cameron Jordan left end. And I'm sorry, louder milkers, but I think Cameron Jordan is a little more essential to this team than you. Also, this is a jackpot, which means I can do the power up. So take Cameron Jordan's power up here and uh, get moving. 93 Cameron Jordan. I don't know. I mean, we gotta try something new. We've been struggling these last three or four episodes. We gotta get on a hot streak. 81 speed, 93 tackle, 93 play break, 93 block shed, 94 power moves. Okay, I like this. Huge defensive upgrades. We're an 86 overall. Nothing like our former glory of last season, but we do have 93 Cameron Jordan and 93 Lawrence Taylor. Let's hope that's enough to finally get us a dub. I need some confidence right now, man. I'm down bad. All right, challenge. Also, I could complete the challenge wheel and salvage one of these players at the very least. Wow, I have no confidence right now. Shit. We need to hold our opponent to less than 175 yards passing. To put that in perspective, boys, Darren Waller on my team, and I lost. Darren Waller had 203 receiving yards last game by himself, and I lost, okay? So this is a difficult challenge. Metcalf, Jair, and Devin White. Toxic Sharp. What do you got, buddy? Psych! <laughs> I swear to God, EA does this. When you lose a game, I think EA wants you to stay sucked into the game, so they intentionally match you up with someone that they shouldn't match you up with. What I think this is, is EA saying to me, like, no, don't quit Madden right now, because, well, look, we're gonna give you a super easy game. It's super fun. I'm serious, because last game, the last three games, I got flooded by God Squads, and now all of a sudden I'm playing a dude with like a 82 overall, maybe. What they should do regardless of anything, they should just match you up with people with a similar overall. Isn't that what 2K does? But I guess 2K has the problem where people like overall cheese, right? Where they put in bronzes on their bench to make their overall lower. And I'm saying that pretty prematurely, but like, look at this shit, dude. He's just, we're not in the same league here. Granted, I have beaten people with a team that looks like this. That's pretty much how the start of Wheel of Mutt goes, right? I think B coming across should be wide open. Randy Moss. I had to hold him to less than 175 yards passing. It's technically true that if he rage quits, I would also get a rage quit wheel and a challenge wheel. Now I kind of just feel bad. I feel a little OP, but whatever. Take what I can get. Oh shit, he got up so fast. Damn it, dude. I saw him drop. I thought I had him for sure. Gonna rifle one to Damian Harris. Wait, we need James Robinson touchdowns. We need James Robinson touchdowns. It's such a win-win. If he rage quits, we get a rage quit spin. If he doesn't rage quit, we can get as many touchdowns as we want with James Robinson. This is exactly what we need. All right, good blocking on the edge. James Robinson, breaking tackles. He's got the overall for it now. Gonna go James Robinson inside zone. Great, wow. Walks it in, that is one upgrade for James Robinson. We'll see if he stays in this game or not. Little play action. They're all over Lamar. My thought is that he will rage quit if he gets sacked enough times. 
That's usually what sets people off. Ooh, little pass interference never hurt nobody. DK Metcalf is on defense. I do not know why. Can we get an INT with DK Metcalf? Ooh, nice throw. Talano Hufanga is in. He just beams one up to the galaxy. Oh, get up. No shot. We were all right, let's see if that's the rage quit. That is the rage quit. Challenge wheel complete, rage quit wheel. One touchdown, James Robinson. Awesome start to this season. So one pack from the store for our challenge wheel. Nick Bolton, Jack Doyle. Are any of these helpful? A slightly better Kevin Green. I think that is a better right tackle also, just by a little bit. Ooh, I should have taken Jack Doyle. I'm an idiot. We need a backup tight end. McCaffrey, 87 McCaffrey. It's kind of a cool pull. Jason Pierre, Paul, and it's not a good legend. It's, hey, there's my tight end. And for the rage quit wheel, I'm gonna let you guys see it first. Uh, as I go set this lineup here, the rage quit wheel is going to be, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? 50k choice? Hey, this market is tanked right now. 50k is gonna get me something good. In fact, I think I'll get a right tackle. Let's upgrade James Robinson first. Dude, we just need a Jonathan Taylor five touchdown game for James Robinson. We'll just lightning bolt him all the way up to fucking 95 overall, whatever it is. Wait a second. How much is Robert Hunt? How much is that fullback, dude? Dude, then I have to get rid of Gabe Neighbors, but I think Robert Hunt is like less than 50k. He's 38k! Dude, I'm sorry, Gabe Neighbors. I'm sorry, Gabe Neighbors. I have to do it. Robert Hunt, dude, this guy made the coolest play this year. Holy shit. And that guy sauced on me with him earlier. Let's go! So James Robinson now sits at an 82 overall. He technically can get his first ability, which is literally basically nothing. 82 overall, James Robinson. We'd love to see on the squad, buddy. We keep moving him up. Robert Hunt is in. Now we go for one more wheel spin. So following a rage quit, a quick one like that, we get one wheel spin and we hop into the next game. All right, boys. So we lock in Lawrence Taylor and Cameron Jordan because we got real lucky on that game. But let's see what's on the line now. It's, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We just got the training store jackpot. We get three of any packs from the training store. This is like a triple challenge wheel. There's the bonos players, those are kind of ass. Veterans, heavyweights, and flashbacks is probably the move here. Let's just do one each and pray we get lucky. Our first veteran pack, not Fitzpatrick. I've said this before, I'll say it again. We get Calais Campbell. How much does that help us? He can go to D-tackle, okay. Calais Campbell, 91, it's not a 90, so that's solid. Our heavyweight player is having style. That's a right tackle. We got him last season too. That guy wants to stay on the squad and he'll make it happen no matter what. Our flashbacks player. Will we get an offensive skill position? We do. It's another player who's seen some daylight before. AJ Green. It's Bengals prime AJ Green. That's why it's flashbacks, right? Not, not Cardinals. I want to sell the game and I don't know what route I'm supposed to be running AJ Green. Hold on. Oh, Oh my wow. God, you are trash, nigga! Big fucking trash. Lots of big upgrades just kind of happened. So yeah, right end, Calais Campbell can't really happen. But uh, I feel like he'd be a good D-tackle anyway. He's a big boy. Team is coming together here, but all three of these players could get tossed. I don't win this game, so let's go get a win. I'll let you boys see this one first as well. The challenge wheel spins as I hop into this game. We're 1-0. Off a bit of a stroke of luck, our first challenge wheel, not our first, but our challenge wheel for today. Holy shit. There's like 50 things on here. There's like a 2% chance. No, it's one in 50 to the power of two. It's incredibly unlikely that we'd get that twice in a row. Either way, I'm gonna go with it again because we didn't get the, holy shit. 96 Stafford. You know, this might be a minor Bears theme team. Maybe not. Stafford and five wide. Who's he got? If I can figure out who he's got on, a oh, right here. Let's go right here, let's go right here. The check down. The checky. Oh, Reggie Wayne. Okay, I take it back. It's not, it's not, it's not. No way. That's a bad pass. Oh, no shots. How the fuck? Kendricks. Oh, we don't get there in time. We have to make this tackle. Nice spin. I wonder if we can make this stop. Is this up the middle? Robert Hunt? Yup, yup. Oh, you can't go low there, buddy. Looks like it's gonna be another tough game and he's going for two. Get up! Oh my God, you, were, you weren't there for that? I love this play, look at that. Ooh, it's AJ Green, not Jalen Rager on this other underneath, which I really like. Let's fuck Jalen Rager. Ooh, okay, Waller! Oh, you gotta break that tackle, buddy. Mackie! John Mackey getting his first ever touch. Little play action, get him thinking. 
Oh, he's so open, but dude, Mackie again, but he's a little too close to that boundary. Otherwise, he could have just taken that into the end zone. Could get another little James Robinson if we want it. Oh, I'm going to get it into him early. We'll just go inside zone, James Robinson. He's waiting there with Devin Bush. Oh, Robinson is going to take it in. I'm not going for two. I don't want it to be a two possession game. Two goes for here. Oh, uh, the left side cross is probably open. Ooh, good stop. Let's see what he goes for here. Probably a deep corner. The crosser right here. I've got it. Get on the QB. Campbell, let's go. Oh, that's not a sack either. If it's not a sack, it's a fumble. How are we saying he got that off? I'm expecting a corner route out of Kyle Pitts, and I'm going to follow it myself. Oh, it's not. Get there. Oh my God, we're right there. Fourth and 10, that's the stop. You need to win the game. He is chewing clock. This guy is beta as fuck. I can't believe you got Stafford. Guy goes with the inside zone, gets stopped. It's fourth and five. I'm interested to see what he does here. Oh my God, Stafford's gonna run it. This one all the way in 13 to 8. I'll still just take my one. We get ball half. What a play. He goes for the check down and cannot deliver. And that's why we prestige Devin White, boys. He comes up with one of those once a season. Ooh, we sack Stafford. He's got to call a timeout. Second and 20. Ooh, nice play. Don't let him get out of bounds. Oh, oh, Jair. Jair, you gotta go all the way, buddy! You gotta go all the way, Jair! Oh my god! With no time on the clock! It's 20 to 8! We have two defensive touchdowns! What kind of throw is that? What are you doing? He's crumbling before our eyes! We might be back, boys. We might have our mojo back. Let's dial it back in. Let's think about what we gotta do. We gotta hold him to 175 or less passing yards. I can't tell you what he's at right now because I don't know. There's no way he's at 175. He has one touchdown. We go Damian Harris underneath. Let's not have a sad drive here. Let's convert for sure. Dear Waller. <laughs> Look at Metcalf. Oh, I hate that animation. Okay, if you use her that, you won't see this. So I'm fine with that. Yup, 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 set him up. Oh, and a great tackle right there. Gonna go double underneath. Just gotta have somebody, right? Oh no, that was actually so open. I just threw that guy who's open in the middle of the field. I'm gonna hit him with his own sauce. He sauced me up with this earlier. Can we get him? Oh my God, maybe. No, 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 not a pick six of my own. Not a pick six of my own. Josh Allen, what a clutch up. All right, the game ain't won yet. It's certainly not won yet. It still looks good. I just cover the end zone here. Oh, oh. Now it's the pass and we get a sack off the edge. Oh my God, Fred Warner has three sacks. Let's see what he goes with. Play action for sure. No shot, he really runs it again. Fourth and goal, he is dedicated to the run. Unbelievably dedicated to the run. Fourth and goal, he really could get a goal line stand here. He cannot be running this ball, okay. He's gonna throw underneath. Oh, he does throw in the middle. Bold as fuck. I was standing there. All right, first and 10, let's go score. Uh, field goal puts me up by nine, so that's huge too. Josh Allen is gonna dive forward. Keep it real sketchy. Just need a little bit more of this cross drag play. Doing great for us right now. And Josh Allen, once again. Oh, look at X. Holy shit. How? We're blocking so fucking many. How did you just walk through? I blocked seven against three. We're going for it. This is huge. I'm gonna lose the game if I don't get this right here. We don't get this, we lose. Massive. I'm gonna go right in the middle to Darren Waller to ice the game. Now we just hang on to the ball and don't shoot ourselves in the foot and we'll win here. We're gonna go peak zone bubble to ice this up. We're gonna throw one to James Robinson who breaks a tackle. Who's gonna go into the end zone on our real big zone bubble? Literally how? How did he do that? And that's two touchdowns. That's a James Robinson touchdown. I'm trying to remember how he got the two point on me. Oh, he got it just like this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fred Warner with his fourth sack and sixth tackle. He might be the MVP today. Although we do have a Devin White and a Jair Alexander pick six. So it's hard to say. That's mine. We are just flooding him right now. All right, before he quits, 150 yards. It's 150 yards passing. Let's go. We held him to under 175. Thank God. I needed to check and I couldn't. What's crazy is if he completed that pass, I would have lost the challenge wheel too. Does not count as a rage quit. He just went to dashboard sooner. There's only six seconds left in the game. Big dove. We are 2-0 and oh now. 2-0 and oh to start this season. Challenge wheel complete. And we have two upgrades for James Robinson. You know, I'm going to do a 10 times get a gold player. It is technically a pack that you can buy with coins. So. So, Javon Hargrave, and we lock in those three players, which is huge. We do get an elite. Roquan Smith, you think he'd be better than Kendricks? I doubt it. Kendricks is too good. We get a team of the week. Damn, these aren't that bad. 85 Tyus Bowser. I do think Kendricks is still better. Love my linebackers right now, dude. How hard did Fred Warner go? Four sacks, dude? What? Galen Rager, fuck you. I should have quick sold you. And then our final one is a 79 plus. It is an elite. Quandre Diggs. 88 overall. That was a huge push. We needed that so bad. After a really tough season, we have two upgrades for James Robinson here. Over oh, that two touchdown game. I can't believe we got that last second, dude. James Robinson is the king of these last second touchdowns. He's at an 86 overall with 84 speed. I think he can finally get a pretty good ability. I lied. He still can't get shit. Well, no, he just reached for it. And how many touchdowns do we need, boys? I think we only need like three or four more. Four more touchdowns. If we get four touchdowns the next game, James Robinson is maxed out. I can finally use this 95 that I've been looking at for so long. I love how it looks. Mackie had a big game. All the boys played really well today. I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, clap cheeks. I love you. Peace.